everybody. I'm Mrs. Sinnott and I'm so excited that you joined me tonight to have a bedtime story. The story I selected is called The Invisible String. Oh, I, I'll be right back. I have to get a blanket. This is my favorite blanket when I read stories. I'm sure you have a favorite blanket too. So snuggly and warm. Um, oh, one more second. I need to get one of my favorite stuffed animals. All right, little bear. You sit up here and watch me, okay? Sometimes I sleep with that little guy. Oh, one more, I forgot. All right, this is little Lammy. This is, El I call him Lammy. It's a really original name because, you know, there you go. Hi, little Lammy. And now we're ready to start our story called The Invisible, mm. One More Favorite Friend. Sorry, guy, I left you out. Oh, all right, I think we're ready now. This is Mr. Bear, and I call him Mr. Bear. All right, so everybody's ready for this story? And the story is called The Invisible String by Patrice Karst. Liza and Jeremy, the twins, were asleep one calm and quiet night. Suddenly, it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled until it got so loud that it woke them up. Mommy, mommy, they cried out as they ran, ran to her. Don't worry, you two. It's just the storm making all the noise. Go back to bed. Well, we want to stay close to you, said Jeremy. We're scared, mommy said. You know, we're always together, no matter what. But how can we be together when you're out here and we're in bed? Said Liza. Mom held something right in front of them and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleepy eyes, the twins came closer to see what mom was holding. It was, ab it was about your age when my mommy first told me about the invisible string. I don't see a string, said Jeremy. You don't need to see the invisible string. People who love each other are always connected. A very special string made out of love. But if you can't see it, how do you know it's there? Asked Liza even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it with your heart and know that you are always connected to everyone you love. Oh, that makes me happy. When you're at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way along the string until I feel it tug my heart. And when you tug it right back, we feel it in our hearts, said Jeremy. Would it reach me even if I were a submarine captain deep in the ocean, asked Jeremy. Yes, Mom said, even there. Or a mountain climber, even there. A dancer in France? Even there. A jungle explorer? Even there. How about an astronaut out in space? Yes, even there. Then Jeremy quietly asked, can my string reach all the way up to Uncle Brian in heaven? Yes, even there. Does the string go away when you're mad at us? Never, said Mom. Love is stronger than anger, and as long as love is in your heart, the string will always be there. Even when you get older and can't agree about things, like what movie to see, 
or what game to play in the back seat, or what time you should go to bed. Oh, that's right, you two should be in bed. And with that, they all laughed as mom chased the twins back to their beds. Within a few minutes, they were asleep, even though the storm was still making the same loud noises outside. As they slept, they started dreaming of all the invisible strings they have and all the strings their friends have and their friends have until everyone in the world was connected by invisible strings. And from deep inside, they could clearly see no one is ever alone. I hope you loved this story. I miss everybody a lot. I'm sending you love and kisses and many well wishes. Good night.